In this lab, I'm going to show you how to use a mechanical splice. The mechanical splices I sent you guys should already be open and not have been previously used. But in case you do get one that has been previously used, as you can see this one is, we have to open it up. So I'm going to take a pair of pliers, the needle nose pliers, and grab, you can see, I'm pulling out the little thing that pinches the fiber in place as we insert it. So you can see we have a hole on this side and a hole on this side. This is for a 900 micron mechanical splice. I'm going to slide a piece of fiber on this side and slide a piece of fiber on this side and they're going to match up inside. Inside of this connector where the fibers meet, there is index matching gel, kind of like a Vaseline type material. And that's going to allow less refraction or less loss of light on the ends as soon as they touch and connect. So again, you want to make sure you start out with a mechanical splice. This is a 3M fiber lock. And make sure that that little thing here is pulled out first before you start. Okay, set that down. Take your perfectly good fiber optic cable that has the SCNs on it. And we're going to cut it in half. Oh, okay, we're going to strip the ends, and we're going to strip off about an inch to two inches, so we can cleave 12 and a half inches. These 3M fiber locks need 12 and a half millimeters to match up to the center. So we're going to start stripping some of those off. Again, take about a quarter inch at a time. Make sure it's clean. And I'm going to now get my cleaver, insert my fiber to the 12 and a half inch mark. Oh, I didn't quite reach. I need to get just a little bit more here. And again. Let's try that one more time. Five and a half millimeters. Okay, push it in the little slot. And I have that side prepped. I'm going to prep this other side. Again, as I'm using these, I'm making sure that I'm not squeezing it down all the way until after I get all of that jacket off. And then I'm going back through and getting that tight buffer pulled off. Okay, nice squeaky clean. 12 and a half. Oh, and I forgot to take my fiber piece out. There we go. Twelve and a half inches. Sorry, twelve and a half millimeters. Okay, that's a nice clean cleave. My fiber scrap out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the fiber in one side.
I can't push it in there any further. I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Both have pushed in, so they're hitting each other. I'm just going to crimp down on it, and there's your mechanical splice. Two fibers temporarily, permanently joined together because of the splice. This isn't a fusion splice, but it is a uh, mechanical splice. When you're done, go ahead and test your fiber optic patch cord to see if the results are the same or slightly worse loss because of that splice.